Hello everybody, my name is Eric. I saw this person in the tech support section of our Discord talking about how he had recently ended with his computer being completely locked up after trying to download an auto clicker. Now I made a video years ago about some of the popular auto clickers and theories that they were malware that was fairly inconclusive. Auto clickers are definitely riskware, and because they are associated with cheating in games, you will find a lot of uh, malware hidden in them. But what I've discovered is if you go to GitHub and you look at the latest uploaded auto clickers, you have a bazaar of free malware. So this one is extremely sketchy. This one is called the Macros Auto Clicker. It's by a fairly new account that has done nothing else really and was uploaded extremely recently. Guide on how to use the program. Control F, find solution. So I uploaded it to Virus Total, and it's got a few but not a ton of hits. Then we have a bunch that seem to be targeting crypto earn games. These are games that supposedly will pay you uh, money to play them. And some of these also, rather than having the malware built in, they might have, they might be a vi Visual Studio project that's got something. So let's take a look. Now I, I can already tell what's going on here. And here we've got an extremely obfuscated auto -it script, but you can be pretty certain that this is some some sort of loader. So we can try this one out. Let's see what happens. Now, do we get an auto clicker? Where'd the auto clicker go? That doesn't look like an auto clicker. So it, it does nothing. Other than when I click that, it stole all of my data. So let's try some more out. This is the macros auto clicker. Uh, thank you, small screen, for trying to stop me, but it does not look. Oh. There is actually an auto clicker here. That was unexpected. So is this the world's sketchy? Is it the world's sketchiest auto clicker? Uh, is it a, a rare case of an actual trick? Because an auto clicker is something that's extremely easy to make. So and these scams are sort of small because they're kind of taken like every piece of good practices. It's from GitHub. It's open source. That's good. But. There, there's only one problem here. This is not open source. This is pretend open source. It's fake. So let's try running it again and let's see if it spawns anything. Because that's the... Usually if there's some hidden functionality. So this one we're going to call inconclusive. It's profoundly weird. Uh, so then we've got the cat gold miner. Now let's take a closer look at what happens when you run that. So we can see a Luigit running. I imagine that's probably installed some malware. We can do some deeper analysis on that in a bit. Let's see what else we got. Well, let's see, is this one real? Could be. Is this a fork, or did they change their GitHub username? Well, we'll um, hash cats auto clicker, and this is another one. So this seems to be a bit of a trend where they'll pretend that it's an auto clicker for some sort of uh, crypto game. And the legitimate ones on here, you, you can sort of tell because they're open source. They're not going to be, you know, if they're real, they're not and they're on GitHub. There's no reason to upload an EXE in a repo on GitHub. That's not a legitimate distribution method for closed source software. And as we go further back, we see more potentially legitimate ones because the spammers, oftentimes they get taken down pretty quickly and they'll just use bots to put up new ones. So let's look, this is another, uh, this is a KuCoin, what? Why are they calling these things auto clickers? We've got uh, a clearly AI generated repo summary with the emojis. This looks like a, a GPT 4.0 in action. And we click the download and we can download the bot. Let's take a look at this one. It doesn't take a lot to see this is probably not real. Uh, this looks like some sort of Electron app. Uh, oh, there's a readme. Open launcher.exe. Agree to terms and conditions. We must agree. This actually looks, they've got something going on here. Uh, I think it was just a decoy. I don't, I don't think there was actually anything going on here. Uh, either it crashed or... Yeah, let's try. And, oh, okay, we've now got a DLL host going. Oh, and that's actually just an overlay, so it's translucent. That's why we could see some text behind it, and then it will elevate itself. Let's take a closer look. Is install.exe. And there's lots of very blatantly suspicious activity here. They've even got a MIT license as a EULA, and they've also got a license, uh, which is a diff different uh, bit of stuff. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why, like, especially these obvious scam ones, I don't know why they use these kind of terms. 
And then here is another one of these suspicious uh, cheat ones that has IP logging for some reason. A feeling, although it's a year old, so I don't know if it was. It gives me that kind of kind of vibe coded uh, a vibe. I could be wrong. It could just be that PR was and the X account for this supposed game is also incredibly suspicious. Twelve million followers. There, there is no crypto account that has twelve million followers. Like none of the top accounts have this many. It is not that popular. There is no crypto game that has 12 million followers on X, so that's clearly botted. And they've also stopped uh, posting on here more than a year ago. So this is clearly some sort of weird malware campaign. But this one is actually the most interesting to me, and that's what we're going to look at next. Because this is another one of those Trojanized Visual Studio code. And quite often, we'll see, is it in here? I think it's in the SUO file. And we will run it in just a second, but let's see where our problem is. So we've got CS Project, okay. And here appears to be the magic trick. Now, I'm sure you can tell this looks like Base64, and you would be right. So there's a method within the SUO file which is not documented by Microsoft, but is known or was reverse engineered. I think we need 16, actually, because it's going to be PowerShell, so it's probably the UTF-16. I love how you can sometimes get completely hilarious results if you decode base64 with the wrong. Let's actually run it and just see what's going on here. So we want Kitesen minigame bot auto clicker. Katazen, okay, it's Katazen. Oh, we also got cat gold miner. So I guess we got a bit of a trend with these games. And I'm gonna guess Katazen is probably a real thing, and this is this is just a so we'll run this in Visual Studio. And now we'll watch on Procmon and Procx, see if anything unexpected happens. And we have to click trust and continue. It's possible that the fact that Microsoft shipped an update may save us. And then we need Net Framework. Oh, uh, yep. And that just popped off, and we are now in big trouble. CMDC, uh, PowerShell, Window, Command Hidden, Argument Execution, bypass and then the first one downloaded malware from powershell and then the second one is the executes it and we can get both of these uh, if we go through to rock mom which is a really cool app from sys internals because it actually it's basically records everything you're this must be a hidden file file explorer options it changed that in my vm template maybe it deletes itself look at that uh muckcoding.com <laughs> slash so we got muck coding and then we got okay so it's also possible this domain has gone down api certificate out file and then that's going to go to that c users public pictures let's see if there's anything running at uh, muckcoding.com just really quite a legit looking domain by malware standard it does migrate without i, th I thought maybe that was going to save us but it definitely didn't this just looks like a certificate so if they taken this and this is still up Let's just see. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work, but I can always check if there's something here. Never mind. There is definitely something here. Keyword last W, secret key. Uh, it's going to hide it in there, and then there's a paste bin where it could download more from. As far as I know, the payloads C2 is currently offline, but that could be changed. Then there's Muck Developer. YouTube, okay. That's really weird. Oh, I get it. I get it. It's the description, right? So, no, why did I go to <laughs> one base 64 decode? What am I doing? Possible it's encrypted. Google Docs. So, what they've done here is they have a million different places. If you've seen any of my videos with the Info Stealers, okay, so that one's been taken down. Oh, good work. Now that is real 7 zip that will extract that and download microsoft.exe. Now this is a clever attack. It's not infallible because you'd still have to click trust, but unlike previous open source scams, where I've shown you a GitHub project where if you download and build, you get hacked. Here, you don't have to build, you just have to read the project. And because it uses the .suo exploit, let me actually just see if we can find something like that. 
uh, we got this. Then it uses a technique I've seen, and this is important for long-lived info-stealing operations. Typically an info-stealer dies as soon as its C2 is taken down, and that's fine for one and done, but if they're trying to persist, this might make it more possible for them. Because getting all of these taken down, especially YouTube with their utterly terrible policy system, it will take your videos down. But also, if you find a video that violates their terms of service and their bot doesn't see it, it's just basically, short of knowing someone who is in the NGO Trusted Flagger program, which is extremely exclusive, impossible to get it removed. It's a, it, as a result, it's definitely being exploited, and there are other platforms, some of which just don't really understand, because none of these uploads look violative, and on the YouTube link as well, it's in the description, it's not in the video. You can check the Instagrams. Okay, the Instagram did get taken down. They have so many of these, and as long as one of them survives, okay, and there's a, there's a decryption there, downloads, more malware, and this is the ultimate. Now, for educational purposes, I'm just going to explain how this works. So Visual Studio uses this, and this SUO file can create code exploitation. And as it turns out, Microsoft does not consider this to be a security issue, which is why it's still not being fixed. That is why you have the trust prompt. So, and yeah, it seems like it's basically loading arbitrary shellcode, which is used in this case to download more malware from this server. It's definitely an interesting technique. I think it will fall under, and this one actually has just given an update, the macro is quickly... I tested it on any run, and at least this iteration doesn't look to be malicious. I would not download this. We are going to talk about that in a second. What should you do if you need an auto-clicker for some reason? Well, certainly not download any of these. I do appreciate the amount of effort they seem to have put into these scams. Especially because it's not really rewarding for the fraudsters, right? This is a clever system in that you might download this and have a full sense of security. But most people who are going to fall for this would just as happily run a random exe without checking it. So what should you do? Well, the main thing is you want to be sure your auto clicker is actually open source, has users still. So I'm going to recommend this. This is Alpha Clicker. I've actually mentioned this in another video because there was this other auto clicker that had ripped them off. But this is the real link. We can check the source code and we can see. All right, it all looks normal. This is been around for years and you can look and you can you can tell there's a few things you can do to see a real repo you can look around and you can see okay there's a lot of people discussing issues and we can go to the closed uh, and there's people saying this this is wrong by the way this is a false positive positive. and yes auto clickers by their nature are sort of riskware but ultimately people are saying this is clean let me just check this out i i know what's happened here and i get comments about this sometimes so i'm going to explain this so do you see this horde of malicious detections? You know how this is actually a method of trolling, and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, triage luckily includes this video replay. You can already see they ran MS Edge, which is how they downloaded the malware. Because, see, that is what was being tested. But that's not the malware. Bug32.exe, and that unleashes the malware. So what people do, especially with triage, because it's open to anyone, is they will go on there, they will upload a legitimate file, and because of uh, Jaffa Cake's bot, this can get copied over to VirusTotal, uh, so they will upload a legitimate file, they will also then go on Edge and download a piece of malware, and that's how they pull this off. Now on any run, they do actually have a flag for user executed that you can watch out for, and we can see, wow, this guy is just going through all of the... Uh, malware collections. So let's you know. So there's the actual auto clicker. Closes the auto clicker, and then he gets to work downloading malware. He also downloads the vast for some reason, and then downloads bug thirty two. It's possible whoever uploaded this just simply did not know how how triage works and didn't realize they were going to create a false positive. But just to answer the mystery. So yeah, this is a legit one alpha clicker, and we can go and download it here. Compiled release. You can also download the source code, build it yourself, we'll run it, and there we go. Now you can tell this is real, the source is available, and we can see it's auto-clicking, and we can stop it, and change the hotkey. It has every functionality that you need, and you can choose which mouse button you want to click, single-click, double-click, repeat until stopped. So that's what I would recommend if you need an auto-clicker for any reason. 
can also make one pretty easily in Python or any other programming language you're familiar with. But don't, don't download closed source auto clickers. Don't download random GitHub projects, especially ones created last week. It's not a perfect solution, but old repos, just because C2 servers don't last forever, are much less likely to steal your data. So that's going to be all for me for now. Please let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Took a look at a couple of uh, auto clickers. Uh, fake, and then I tell you here at the end, and I'll have a link to this in the description as well, real autoclicker that you can actually trust. Bye!